so very good morning students yes so i welcome you today for class 10 physics magnetic effect of electric current for five yes yes so before discussing the today topic today we are going to discuss about the electromagnetic induction and fleming's right hand rule okay two things we are going to do before that let me give the recap of video part 4 okay one or two points i want to discuss with you so we discussed about the magnetic force so suppose you have the conductor current is flowing when the current passing through the conductor what is happening magnetic field is produced suppose it is placed in the magnetic field what will happen force acting on that conductor for example the conductor ab so how to find out the direction of force by using fleming's left hand rule is it clear now this is the magnetic field this is direction of current then the thumb gives the direction of force okay that point we have discussed it. second one we discussed about the electric motor what is the electric motor electric energy converted into mechanical that is rotational motion very simple you have one rectangular coil you want to rotate that coil with the help of electrical energy the principle is this only over and then we discussed about the first of revolution second of revolution okay so the first of revolution already i told it is kept like that then 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 one rotation suppose what exactly happening it will it will come like that this is 180 degree rotation again if you want to rotate in the same way either clockwise or anti clockwise what we have to do we are using commutator which one is a commutator yes split ring okay which changes the direction of current for every off rotation and then you got everything then finally suppose this electric motor if you pass ac supply what will happen no additional point i am giving suppose ac what will happen it will do move like that only okay later on i am going to discuss about ac generator you understand it will rotate like that you cannot imagine that motion also that's why it can work under only dc supply that's why we can say it is a dc motor whatever we are discussing it is nothing but dc motor because that is the reason okay the last point i want to discuss about the how to put this electric motor in commercial purpose how to do in commercial purpose for that what we are doing instead of permanent magnet horseshoe magnet we have to use electromagnet second one the number of turns in the rectangular coil a b c d you know that you have to increase it the third one we are using soft iron soft iron plus coil it is nothing but armature which will increase the power of the motor sometimes the power is high power is low how so use the coil coil in the sense rectangular coil along with the soft iron already you know the what is the use of this material soft iron to increase the magnetic field strength already you have the magnetic field because of the uh, regular magnet maybe permanent magnet horseshoe magnet now other than that additional field you want use soft iron so that that arrangement is called the armature okay with the help of that the power of the machine can be in is it clear now okay now today topic is electromagnetic induction what is the today topic we are going to discuss electromagnetic induction electromagnetic induction in short form we write emr emr let me check the sound also all are getting the sound also properly yes yes yeah, sound also coming properly okay 
I don't think any problem anybody will face. Yes, so I am checking with him. You can doubt here, doubt also, you can immediately. Electromagnetic induction. Before going in detail, let me give some terms for your understanding. The first point is magnetic field. I will explain here. What are the terms you should understand? One is magnetic field. So, what is magnetic field? Suppose you have the magnet. Around the magnet, you have the magnetic influence. If you bring any other magnet or iron object that will be attracted. If it is a magnet, either attraction or repulsion. That area is called the magnetic field. So next one I am going to discuss about galvanometer. Galvanometer. I think it is that side I am writing whether you are able to see. Yes, clear. Okay, good. So the galvanometer is what? You have one instrument with a needle here, here you have 0, then 1, 2, 3, etc. 30. 1, 2, 3, etc. 30. So you have the like that. No current, then it will be centered, that is 0 percent. If the current is there, it will move either left or right. That instrument is called a galvanometer. What is galvanometer? It is a tool, it is a device to Identify the current in the circuit. You, you know very well about the ammeter. Ammeter to measure the current. Very important difference. Ammeter to measure the current. How much current? Current may be 1 ampere, 2 ampere. That is ammeter. Galvanometer, it is very sensitive. Even the small current, maybe micro, nano ampere flowing. Then also you can identify. How you can identify? When there is a deflection, either left or right, yes, current is flowing in the circuit. That is the galvanometer. I think these are the very important points I want to discuss with you. So let me start. Now, electromagnetic induction. Okay. So in this case, what is happening? Suppose, for simple understanding I am giving, here you have one metallic loop. Okay, which is connected with galvanometer. Now nobody will have the doubt about galvanometer. So this is galvanometer. Now what is happening? Here you have the magnet. Suppose this is north pole, this is south pole. Step by step I am going to explain. Don't worry. Definitely you can understand. Okay. So you have one coil. This is the coil. Now the coil is placed like that. This is the magnet. So this is the coil. This is the magnet. What I am going to do, I am moving the magnet towards coil. So when I am looking at that, here, what is happening? There is a deflection in the needle, galvanometer. So when it is moving here, so the current starts flowing. Current starts flowing. One direction, anti-clockwise. You can understand. Some direction, you can say that. When it is moved towards here, what is happening? Galvanometer shows some deflection. Galvanometer shows some deflection means definitely there is a current. How it is possible? No battery in this circuit. What you are doing? You are moving the magnet towards the coil. That's all. Okay? Next to what you are doing, the same magnet just to move outward direction, away from the coil. Again you are seeing that. Can I put it? Okay, again, suppose here, you see that, here, now what you are going to do the magnet, now, so it is moved in this direction, again it is showing the deflection, but suppose left side, okay, now the current is flowing, okay, it is coming here, okay, and that is, try to understand? Okay, so first case, okay, what you are doing, north pole facing the coil, it is moved, you are seeing some deflection, so some current is there, there is something about it. Now again the same magnet is moved away from it, again it shows some deflection, but in opposite direction. Look at the current action changes now, here suppose anti-clockwise, here clockwise, with respect to this side. Okay, now next to what is happening, here suppose,
here you see that where it is zero position now both are at rest both at rest both means what magnet and coil if you look at it no deflection in the no deflection in the galvanometer means it gives zero deflection zero deflection means no current so what is the value of i zero whatever you have seen now this phenomenon is known as emi electromagnetic induction electromagnetic induction what really happen you know you observe the thing now what happen here when you move the magnet towards the coil whatever magnetic field linked with the coil you know changes how the changes when you move it what is happening the magnetic field goes on increasing so change in magnetic field the change in magnetic field produces current again in this case the magnet is moved away from the coil now the magnetic field goes on decreasing with the coil now also current is induced but when i keeping both at the rest you have the magnetic field you have definitely magnetic field linked with the coil you see that magnetic field linked with the coil away from it yes here also here changing here changing here fixed it so you have the magnetic field with the coil so here coil but no deflection no current so let me go back to current magnetic effect of electric current from magnetic from magnetic effect of electric current means that is from electric current you are getting magnetic field who said this concept was that now from magnetic field you are going to get current that is emi that is electromagnetic induction you see it is a reverse process yes it brought major breakthrough in the scientific world yes lot of changes how you can get the magnetic field from current the same way you can get the current from the magnetic field yes this concept was introduced by michael faraday in i think 1831 or something michael faraday i don't know how much time over almost 15 minutes yes yes okay it is clear to you let me talk about yes let me talk about michael faraday yes we go on talking the physics let us talk about the scientists no huh so, see why i am talking about so many scientists name i used for different topic really i want to specify about michael faraday yes definitely he may be the definitely he will be the inspiration for many of you okay let me take one to two minutes tell about michael faraday okay so he is from england his family four children including michael faraday they were from very poor background very poor economically very poor so even one day if they get one piece of bread that is more than sufficient for them that was the condition what happened no education no formal education for michael faraday yes so he went and joined some um, by book binding shop okay at the age of 13 13 so he started doing binding work in the day time the same book he was reading at the night time. during night hours slowly he got interest in science he started doing that always he reading the book he started at the age of 13 imagine that so what it's the story goes like that 
okay real story i am talking okay go through the internet and find out more detail at the age of 21 he got the chance to attend open lecture by davis david he is a very senior scientist in the field of chemistry he got the invitation he attended uh, michael faraday attended that lecture and he was very much impressed by that lecture because he is very good speaker he is not only scientist very good speaker you can read about davis also okay so then he started noting all the points whatever the lecture was going on okay he came back he was preparing all the points and he prepared the book he did binding work and sent back to davis okay immediately no response was there but later on the david was go through that he was very happy to see the points the way he was writing all the things then what happened one day he called him yes you come to my lab and you assist me that's all then he was there in the lab as a assistant and he was doing that work slowly he got so many scientific information okay in 1831 he discovered this concept electromagnetic induction imagine so later on he got the professor post in the royal institute some honors but he is he was very simple man he denied everything he was focusing everything on the research discovery so many things he has done he has done about the faraday's laws of electrolysis process okay electromagnetic index and that was the real story just to think about it so he is not bothering about whether we are not getting facility or not he tried he tried anyway how to reach that destination okay so you see that condition that's why you fix the target and move towards the target definitely you will achieve it i want because of that one like taken about the real story of michael faraday Okay, so that is a very interesting. It is a really inspiring story for all of us. Okay, let me continue with that. Yes. So here now you got some idea about these points. One, two, three. Okay, I am going to narrate everything one by one. Just to go through it. First point, second point. I am talking these two. Whenever magnet is moved towards the coil, away from the coil, what is happening? change in magnetic field change in magnetic field so change in magnetic field produces induced current induced current induced current very important word is change change very very important Take a look at the board Yes. Yes. It is clear. Okay, it is working. I think. Hmm. No, no problem. No, nobody facing problem. Yes. Induced the current. Yes. But the third, what is happening? What is happening? No change. No change in magnetic field. What is happening? Induced current. How much? Zero, zero. Very, very important point. This you know. Very, very important. Very, very important. Yes. Change in magnetic field produces potential difference, and hence you are getting the current. That is called induced current. Induced current. Suppose the no change in magnetic field. Clear? Oops. Yes. So no change in magnetic field. no potential difference no current yes so what is electromagnetic induction very important definition i am going to give the phenomenon of producing potential difference or current in a coil due to change in magnetic field linked with it if you want you write now very simple definition i give you so what is electromagnetic induction the phenomenon of producing induced current in a coil due to 
change in magnetic field linked with it is called EMI electromagnetic index that's all let me go in detail you see this setup whatever I discussed in Faraday's experiment Faraday's experiment okay just to write in your textbook instead of single loop they are taking showing on one diagram I will show it okay so you do practice also for that no problem okay you can do the practice yes all of you know the know the things yes step by step all the three diagrams one two three once again moving towards deflection the right side moving away again deflection but in left side because the current direction, magnetic field direction changes, current direction also changes. Okay? In this case, what happened? Both are at rest, no current. You have the magnetic field with the loop, very important point. You have the magnetic field with the loop, with the coil. But what is the condition for electromagnetic induction? Change in magnetic field. What is the change in magnetic field in this case? No change. So, zero. No current is in so now you understand what is EMI and what about the Faraday's experiment. Okay, what is given in our textbook with the solenoid? No problem. I will show the actual diagram so that you can do practice also. Okay, because you want to do more practice, that's why I take only single low coil. Is it clear now? Yes. Now I will show you what exactly you want to do that. Yes. Suppose, so it, because you are already familiar with the solenoid, no? Yes. Okay, you can follow me so that easy to draw the diagram. Yes. Yes. Here you have that galvanometer. Here, galvanometer. Okay, here you have that what? Magnet. N. Yes. You want to move it here? Yes. So you have that deflection. Okay, so here now. Automatically here now. This you don't bother. I am writing, but uh, later on you will understand why I am putting this now. Okay. So current will come like that. Yes, here we go. So here is a post deflection. So in this case, what is happening? Here you are getting that. The same see from here how you know things because I already told the this is a current. So this will be the direction of magnetic field. Direction of north, so this will be north. Okay, I tell you why. Suppose if it is moved away from it, what will happen? Reverse, the current will enter from here, leave here. Then the reflection will be, suppose, left side. Suppose these two are at the rest, then the needle will be exactly at the center. In the galvanometer, the center point is what? Zero. Left both the sides you have the reading. Suppose 30 division, here 30 division. When the current is less, less division you will get. When the current is more, more deflection. That already you are knowing. Once again, I am telling, ammeter to measure the current, galvanometer to identify the current in the circuit, whether the current is there or not. For that purpose only, galvanometer. Galvanometer. Okay, I think this is the case with this you can transfer. One more is then, this is the second part. Instead of magnet, what they did, they have taken both coils. You see, very interesting circuit. Okay, here. This is one coil. Then, okay, here another coil. You see that. Okay, here he has kept a battery key, suppose. Okay, here you coil, suppose, coil one. Coil 2. Here, what happened? You put the galvanometer. Try to understand. Eh? Now, what you are doing here, this is the key. Here, galvanometer. The same, I am going to show you. So, first case, what will happen? The K is on. As soon as you switch on, what will happen? The current increases. So, the current increases. So, in this case, I increases. Now, due to current, you have the magnetic field. Here, you have magnetic field. Similarly, coil 2 also will have the magnetic field because of this. Yes. So, the magnetic field also increases. 
Due to change in magnetic field, what happen? What you will get? Induced current. What is this? You know, this is battery current. Battery current. Please understand. This is the battery current. So now when the switch is on, here the current starts flowing away from the battery. So the current flowing. Yes. Yes. So now the current current will increasing. It may be taking less time, but change is there. Current goes on increasing because of that change in magnetic field. Because of that, here the current is induced. So you may have deflection, suppose. Is it clear now? After that, what will happen? I will reach a steady state. What is that? That is constant. Constant. In that case, what will happen? I equal to constant. B equal to constant. What will happen? Change in magnetic field. How much? Zero. What is induced current? Induced current equal to zero. Very very important. First part is over. Second part, K of switch off. Then what happen? I value decreases. Magnetic field value decreases. Again, change in magnetic field with the coil two. So you have the induced current. Induced current. Yes. So again, the galvanometer will show the deflection, but in left side. Is it clear? Now what happen? After some time, the I becomes what? Zero. The magnetic field becomes zero. No change in magnetic field because no field, no change also. So automatically induced, induced current equal to zero. Okay. After this, this is visible like this. Last point. Okay. Very important point. You can note it. One second. I tell you. Here, what you have done? You have one circuit, solenoid. Here, you are moving the magnet. Here, what you are going to do? You switch on. When you switch on, what is happening? Current increases. Current increases means magnetic field also increases. This magnetic field because of the current in the coil one. So induced current in the coil two that you can get from the galvanometer. The current increases means after some stage what happens? Current becomes constant. Suppose the current may be two ampere, fixed it. Initially may be point five ampere, one ampere, one point five, two ampere. Once it reaches two ampere current, constant. After no change in current, no change in current means magnetic field is there but constant. When no change, this I am putting for change. Don't get any confusion. Change I am putting delta. No change, so no current. Okay. Second case switch off. Now what happened? The current how much it was maximum? How much? Two ampere. Now the current is reducing. See, we see that when you switch on, on it's working. Light is on. Switch off, off. But in that case also some fraction of time it takes. Yes, that we are not able to notice. That's all. Otherwise it is there. So current decreases. Magnetic field decreases. So you can see the change in field. Even decrease also change because of the change. What happened? You will get induced current. Yes. Once the current reaches zero, magnetic field also zero. No change in magnetic field automatically induces the current becomes zero. What conclusion you are getting from both the experiment? Whenever if you want, you write very important. Whenever change in magnetic field, current is induced. Right, right. Whenever there is a change in Magnetic field current is induced. Whenever no change in magnetic field, no current is induced. Very simple point. Very simple. Yes, I think all of you written. All of you written. Yes. I think it's very clear now. Is it clear all the points? Let us discuss some questions. I think maybe twenty or thirty minutes over. Okay. Yes. I think both experiments points everything I discussed. Okay. Now, based on that very important statement, I'm going to discuss. It is nothing but Flamings. Flamings. Right hand rule. All are familiar with the left hand rule by the time I think so. Okay. Now we are going to discuss about what is that? Flamings. Right hand. I tell you no confusion for you. I tell you whatever yes. So whatever the assignment we are taking for left hand. Suppose this four finger magnetic field, this middle current, 
thumb, four. Same for right hand also. No change. No change. So, what you are going to do? Suppose I am keeping like that for your understanding. Okay? Suppose this one. Magnetic field. Here, current. Here, force. Where? Outward. Okay, this outward I put the dot. This force. Out. For your understanding, I am keeping. So, this is what? Four finger. Four finger. This is what? Middle finger. This is what? Thumb. Please, all of you use right hand. Right hand. Yes. This is the case. I think all of you will see. Magnetic field. Here. Here force. Here current. What is this current? This is not a steady current. Battery current. What is this current? Induced current. Induced current. Very, very important. Induced current. So what is flow means right hand rule? So the right hand rule to find the induced current. Induced current. Because if you have started. Left hand for force. You remember that. To remember the things I did, not physics. So can I give me the statement? Yes. Stretch your forefinger, middle finger and thumb of your right hand mutually perpendicular. This is the first point. 90 degree. 90 degree. 90 degree. Mutually perpendicular. Second point. If forefinger points not F O U R, F O R U, index finger. Four finger points the direction of magnetic field. Thumb gives the direction of force. Then the middle finger gives the direction of induced current. Very important, induced current. Don't write current, induced current. That's all. I think all of you written the statement. Okay? Let us see that. I explained with the example so that you can understand in better way. Yes. Suppose I am giving the example for you. Here the magnetic field suppose. How the magnetic field is acting? I will put it simple way. Suppose this is conductor. This is A, B. Okay. We don't know which direction the current is going to flow. No problem. This is the direction of suppose magnetic field. This is the direction of magnetic field. One more, what do you want? Force. Yes. Suppose you can take it. What will happen? Here. Okay, the force is acting, suppose, inward. Force is acting inward. Okay, what is that actually? Suppose this is the conductor. Force is acting inward means I am going to push it towards the board. Do you understand? I am going to push it towards the board. So force. Now you have the magnetic field. In this direction you have the magnetic field. Here. Okay. So now what is happening here? There will be current. There will be a current. Yes. So this is the magnetic field. The thumb gives the force. Then induced the current will be here. Right hand roll. Right hand roll. From means right hand roll. You see that? Yes. Yes. Where is the magnetic field? This is the magnetic field. Yes. Where is the force? Inward. Where the current? All are able to see? Magnetic field? Yes. Magnetic field? Force? Then where is the current? Downward. Where is the current? Downward. You see that? The current is moving. Where? Downward. A to B. Very simple. This is the conductor A B. Okay, so this is the magnetic field suppose. Okay, now I am going to push it this side. Automatically current will flow from top to bottom. A to B. Take a sense. Just for your understanding, one more I will put it. Suppose A, B. Now the, uh, suppose you want to change the magnetic field or you want to change the force. Yes. Now what is happening here? Again then. Here the force is acting, suppose, outward. Here force is acting inward. Right? Here outward. That means outward. 
This is for our convenient way of using. Cross, inward, dot, outward. Okay? You see, this is the conductor. Magnetic field is here. Where the force is acting? Outward. So automatically the conductor has to move this side. Towards you. Towards the camera. Yes. In this case, what is the direction of induced current? This is the magnetic field. This is the force. You see there? I think are you able to see? Uh, I think for me it will be more convenient I think. You see that. Okay. Here this is magnetic field. This is force. Where force is acting? Outward. Towards your side. You see the current. Where? Upward. Upward. So this is the direction of current. I am telling you very simple. Easy to follow. What I am telling Whatever I am explaining in your notebook you draw the diagram and apply. So you have to feel the concept. Again, I am talking that when I am explaining, you will feel comfortable. Okay? But you apply so that you never forget the things. I want that only. Yes. Is it clear? Can I give one or two questions for you? Yes? Okay. Now, so you copy this thing. Okay? You can note down this thing, how to do that. Okay. So I am going to give for you one or two questions. Whether you try or not, okay, or you get it, or thing I will see that. Suppose you have the magnetic field. See that very interesting question I am going to give. Now you have the conductor. Now the conductor. Now the force is applied here. Very important. Okay, this is the magnetic field. Where the magnetic field is acting? Inward. Inward. Okay, now it is moved in outward direction. I am talking about the conductor, suppose one. Similarly, here you have one conductor. Conductor 2. It is moved inside. Okay. Conductor 1, conductor 2. Two questions are there here. Uh, what do you want? Uh, it's not a sorry. This is a force. Which one? Force. Magnetic. Okay. This is a force because movement. You know? See, sometimes they use the speed. In which direction force is applied? That direction it starts moving. Okay. That's a good. So now you see, in both the cases, two questions are there here. Two subdivision. Suppose conductor 1 you take, which direction the current will flow from? Similarly here. Suppose under 1 I am giving. You see that? Dot. What is that? Magnetic field. Where is the magnetic field? Outward. Now I am putting the same way. This is the conductor. It is moving. How? Force is acting. Suppose here you have the conductor. Force is acting. Yes. Okay, conductor 1, here 2. So, 2 question I am making. Question number 1, question number 2. Okay, just you try. 2 questions are there. You try. Yes, anybody able to? First, you take this question number 1, conductor 1. Okay, which direction the current will flow, you tell. Suppose, for your uh, convenient, I am writing A, B. You can say A to B or B to A, A, B. Here, A, B. Okay, all of you try and give me the answer for this. Magnetic field is inward, force is right side, which direction the current will flow? Induced current. Just a, with one. Okay, 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Anybody answering? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, I think some of you tried. I think, I hope like that. You noted. Let me check the answer. First part, I am talking only this. Where is the magnetic field? Inward. Okay. Where is the magnetic field? Inward. Towards the board. Into the board. For you, into the page of the paper. Magnetic field is inward. Where is the force is acting? Right side. Force is acting? Right side. Where is your middle finger? Yes. Upward. Very interesting. Very really simple to apply. Here you see. Magnetic field is inward. Force is right side. Automatically. Where it is acting? Where? Upward. So how the current is flowing? Yes. B to A. B to A. For you, you can write upward or you can write B to A. Both are correct. Yes. Okay. I think almost 40 minutes over. Okay. Uh, yes. So the other three, I want that you are trying. I want that you have to try. Yes. Okay. One more additional point I am going to discuss. 
okay that is not for our 10th standard level or when you appear for any competitive exam or NTSE NTSE exam it may help what is that i tell you suppose you have the rule here i am putting i am removing the dynamic or oh, don't bother okay suppose north south now suppose how this loop you know the loop is kept like that this is the plane of the loop this is the board okay it is like that now north facing facing the coil is moved here okay it is moved with some speed then i want to i put you know north or anti clockwise how i put i tell you when i move here with respect to this magnet side what i will get north only when the when it is north pole the direction of current is anti clockwise why suppose you assume instead of north south you assume what will happen suppose here you have south when you are just slightly touch that magnet when you are slightly touch what will happen because this is north yes suppose south north and south what it will what will happen attractive force unlike pole no attractive automatically the magnet will be moved towards the loop when it is moving towards the loop what will happen magnetic field in the coil changes magnetic field in the coil changes what will happen current is induced so with almost very small work only are done i can say now without work without any work you are getting electrical energy because current is flowing current is flowing the same way opposite if you move away here and tell him south pole because when you do like that always opposite pole with simple always the motion should be stop suppose when you are moving north pole facing here what pole north so that north north ripple it will not allow the magnet to come suppose you put other way now the north pole facing it is moved away from it here the motion should be stopped means what pole will be here south because it should be attracted it is moving away i don't want to allow them move away i want to attract so so try to understand this because how i put the clockwise and anti clockwise this base only okay additional reference you can refer any ntc book so that you can get like that question also is it clear now not for our regular cbsc exam is it clear i hope all of understanding today topics very important concept is electromagnetic index what you are supposed to remember change in magnetic field produces current that's all if no change in magnetic field no current the concept was introduced by michael faraday i hope all of you go through the internet there just type michael faraday you read his real story real life how much challenges he faced and how he got the all the success okay that will be inspiration for all of us you do that the last one we discussed about the flemings right hand rule the flemings right hand rule to find the direction of induced current not current direction of induced current okay so with that then one or two questions are given you apply you try okay if you have doubt let us discuss in the next class is it clear now so keep on doing well all the very best